India is constructing a submarine base in the Bay of Bengal that, when completed, will provide a sanctuary for its sea-based nuclear deterrent against Pakistan and China. INS Varsha will protect India's submarine assets underground. India's ambitious project Varsha, a sprawling 1,680-acre naval base, is rapidly taking shape on the eastern coast at Rambili. Recent satellite images indicate a rapid expansion, suggesting the project is on track for completion within its designated time frame. Project Varsha is a strategic naval base designed to house a fleet of over 12 nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. Its most striking feature is an extensive underground complex revealed by satellite imagery, which includes tunnels likely intended as submarine pens. The base's underground sanctuary promises to protect India's SSBNs from aerial threats and praying eyes while also providing essential support facilities for nuclear engineering. Above ground, the construction of piers suggests the capability to accommodate a variety of surface vessels, enhancing the base's operational flexibility. Project Varsha's location offers a strategic advantage by positioning the Indian Navy closer to the critical shipping lanes of the Indo-Pacific. This proximity allows for a swift response to regional threats and facilitates collaboration with the Bhava Atomic Research Center, India's nuclear establishment. Project Varsha is designed to enhance significantly India's naval deterrence, allowing the deployment of nuclear-armed submarines from a secure underground base. This signals India's commitment to maintaining a formidable presence in the Indian Ocean region, ensuring the nation's security and bolstering its position as a major maritime power. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you find the video informative, please like and share the video. India aims to have four nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines to deal with the dual threat that Pakistan and China pose. Currently, India has one active SSBN, the INS Arihan, which is armed with 12 K-15 submarine-launched ballistic missiles with a relatively short range of 700 kilometers. India plans to commission its second SSBN, the INS Arighat, by end of this year, almost seven years after its launch. India's third nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, codenamed S-4, is under construction and is believed to be larger than its predecessors. Satellite imagery has shown that S-4 may carry twice the SLBMs of INS Arihant and INS Arighat. It could have 24 K-15 SLBMs or 8 K-4 SLBMs with a range of 3,500 km. India will likely complete the S-4 this year and then schedule sea trials. Following that, India's fourth SSBN will likely be based on the S-4 with varying improvements over its predecessor. However, as per experts, unless India fields submarine-launched ballistic missiles with intercontinental range, its sea-based nuclear deterrent will lack credibility versus Pakistan and China. The K-15 submarine-launched ballistic missiles range would limit it to targets in southern Pakistan and its nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines would not be able to target all of China unless they sail through the Malacca Strait. However, India is already developing the K-5 submarine-launched ballistic missiles with a range of 5,000 km. Although the project is highly classified due to strategic and security considerations, India faces a dual nuclear threat from Pakistan and China, with the latter increasingly finding convergence in a threshold alliance with Pakistan, a relationship that is less than a formal alliance but more than general defense cooperation. Pakistan launched its first China built Hangul class submarine, an export variant of the Type 039B Yuan class SSK. In April 2015, Pakistan signed a contract with China for eight submarines, with four built in China and the remainder in Pakistan. While China has been a primary enabler of Pakistan's nuclear weapons program, it may opt to maintain a safe distance from Pakistan's ambitions considering the threat of nuclear proliferation. Project Versha would enable India to use the Bay of Bengal as a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine's bastion against Pakistan and China, with its deep waters providing better cover than the congested waters of the Arabian Sea. 
India's increasing naval presence in the South China Sea may threaten China's nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines as China aims to transform the contested maritime area into a bastion for its nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines fleet. China's new JL-3 submarine-launched ballistic missiles range of 7,200 kilometers will allow it to use the South China Sea as a bastion for its nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines fleet. Last month, a flotilla of three Indian warships consisting of the destroyer INS Delhi, the anti-submarine Corvette INS Kilton, and fleet tanker INS Shakti visited Manila as part of an operational deployment to Southeast Asia, which included port calls in Malaysia and Singapore. New Delhi, it seems, is wide awake for any foreign threat. Jai Hind!